How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. Welcome to box number 13 out of 20 of Japanese Collection Sun. Hope you will hit the like button down below to show your support for this ongoing series as we fight on to try to get somewhere near master sets for each expansion with our 20, 20 booster boxes. Uh, pulls have been pretty good the past few boxes, but not very good for the collection. I'm still missing five cards in Collection Sun and seven cards in Collection Moon. And with only 16 total booster boxes to go, it is extraordinarily unlikely that we will complete the set, really, of either. I would be very surprised if we can complete Collection Sun, and that would be easier to do than completing Collection Moon. So, what we're going to do in today's opening is we're actually going to randomize the packs a little bit. Just a standard pack randomizer, not a whole crazy amount of creativity or thought going on into this opening. Uh, so we're going to kind of mix them together, smush them up, try to spice up the opening a little bit. Sometimes you mess with the RNG, you get something other than the horns. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave them out. We're going to... We're going to mix up the packs, and then we're going to cut them together. I think I'm going to actually mix left-hand side and right-hand side. See if for some reason it does something for us. I don't know. I'm willing to try whatever. You never know. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hey, I cut it right down the middle. That was cool. I'll mix these guys up too. Two, four, six, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So now we're in a completely randomized booster box. And we're hoping for some great stuff inside. First pack gives us Hariyama, Lillipup, Parasect, Herdier, and a Crobat Hollow. My hands are probably going to be a little bit fidgety in this opening in this video. Uh, it is pretty cold, so don't be terribly surprised if I kind of fumble around a little bit with some of these cards. Ooh, two out of two, it's a Toxapex. Uh, to wake up, I was actually uh, watching some Wi-Fi battles from Hayden. He was using a, uh, a Toxapex, I believe, in, in the battle that I was watching. I don't usually spend a whole lot of time uh, watching openings. Well, not watching openings, but watching like non-opening videos from a lot of uh, from a lot of Pokemon uh, YouTubers. Ooh, Espeon GX. Cool. I generally just don't have the time. Uh, I'll watch uh, the Mario Kart streams from the King Nappy, and I'll watch like a Soul Links. Uh, sometimes I'll watch stuff from like a from like a Shady Penguin or or what have you. But generally, I just don't have the time to be able to to commit to it. Although I certainly do enjoy when I have that kind of time. So here we have a Stoutland, Wishy Washy, Young Goose, a Marini, and a Lapras GX. Looks like the randomizer is putting some of the good stuff at the very beginning. That's pretty cool. So my question for you guys today is, what aspects of Pokemon do you enjoy watching on YouTube? Is it just the TCG? Is it Japanese and English? Do you watch other openings, like other languages as well? Uh, do you watch, you know, Wi-Fi battles? Do you watch Let's Plays? Uh, what out there really interests you? as a consumer of the content that those of us out here are trying to create. I'm interested to know in what people watch that watch this channel, aside from this channel. Experience Share, Caterpie, Wishy Washy, uh, Crocorock, and Butterfree. <laughs> okay, so 
we just got this card. Here. Have we done duplicates for a single GX in a box yet? That's really strange. Maybe we've got like some sort of error box. I mean, I suppose with the size of the boxes, it's technically correct. We already got all four GXs? Dude, we're like 10 packs in. Something strange is afoot here, guys. This randomizer did something weird. I mean, trust me, I'm stoked to get four GXs, and I feel like the Lapras is a good one to, to duplicate. But what is going on with this box? What else is it going to throw at us? we got a Repel, Diglett, a Cosmog, Young Goose, and Stoutland. I hope that wasn't all the box had to offer. That would kind of stink. And we randomized it all the first third of the box. Odds aren't especially high that that happened, but... So we get an Alolan Dug Trio. Then again, what are the odds that we're going to get more than four GXs? And two Lapras? Strange things are afoot, my friends. We got a Golduck, a Torkoal, Stuffle, Passimian, and DCE. Next up is a Raquinid, Marini, Stuffle, Caterpie, and a Rabombi. And last pack of the newly minted first half, uh, the much stronger first half. It's a good thing we didn't do Clash on the Big Bridge along with this randomizer. That would have been pretty easy to, de to determine. Uh, Crocorock, Growlithe, Wishy Washy, Eevee, and a Cosmoem. What a peculiar box. So I hope that this is like a mistake somehow. I'm gonna just put a few of the packs in there, kind of like a landing zone for them. Clean that up a little bit. Hope that there's a mistake somehow in the uh, in the setup, the layout of the box. But the best way to find out is just to chew through the rest of the packs. Maybe we've got like a 5GX box and they decided to throw me like a Solgaleo Hyper Rare or something. And they celebrated it with an extra Lapras. So we get a Sarina Hollow. I, I seem to recall like one instance of getting a duplicate GX in a booster box that I saw on Twitter. I just can't remember where. Timer Ball, a Herdier, Psyduck, Lillipup, and Golbat. Now we've got a Stoutland, Sandial, and Friends. And a bit of a dry spell, but given how strong we were in the first half. It's only the poles balancing themselves out now. Got a Lowland Persian, Skarmory, Cloister, Passimian, and a Crushing Hammer. Watch us get a fifth GX, but it'd just be like the Gumshoes. Or a third Lapras. Ah, Kangaskhan. I would laugh loud and fully if we got a third Lapras GX in this box. Uh, Butterfree, Stuffle, Psyduck, Cosmog, and Repel. Uh, I certainly have no expectations for a fifth GX. Uh, if anything, I expect this to be one of the like the dud boxes, as it were. Uh, but at least they softened the blow by including an additional GX for us. I think that was pretty cool of them. Or maybe the pole gods are just super excited that I decided to do a randomizer video. And they changed over a Golbat to a 
an additional Lapras GX for me. No idea really. I've kind of been in the tank with these openings. Haven't really been looking out at a lot of openings for other people to get like a real idea of what's going on. So now we have a Professor Kukui, a Makuhita Bound Suite, Pukumuku, and another Kangaskhan. Starting to pop our duplicates for hollows. There's Elima, uh, Dupider, Growlithe, Pukumuku, and Alolan Dugtrio. So, yep, our duplicates are coming now. So, I suppose if we get one more duplicated hollow in this opening, uh, then that will guarantee that we do not get uh, a fifth GX in the box. Got an experience share Diglett, Dupider, Stuffle, and Butterfree. So, it all comes down to the last pack yet again. At least the opening is pretty short, despite all the work on the side. Professor Kukui, Meowth, Shelder, Metapod, and Crocodile. So that pretty much seals the deal for us. And what is just overall a really strange box. Yeah, I've got so many pack arts here. Usually after the video is over, I just throw out all the leaflets uh, that came in with the with these packs. I throw them out and then I just store them with a couple of packs on top. And then those couple of packs on top I just use as like a buffer zone. Helps protect them while they're in storage. Hollows in this exceedingly strange box were Crobat, Toxapex, Crocodile times two, uh, Dugtrio, Kangaskhan, Arcanine, Kangaskhan, Tsarina, Rabombi, and Dugtrio. Also got Lapras GX, Lapras GX, Sogaleo GX, and Espeon GX. Thank you all very much for watching, as always. I appreciate that you appreciated the video enough to check it out and see it to the end. So make sure to hit the like button down below to show your support. Uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to tell me and share with the others uh, what type of Pokemon content you enjoy on YouTube besides my Japanese openings. And I'll catch you guys here later tonight for Box 13 of Collection Moon.